up the other women here, and I'm gonna smoke them. I am the strongest woman this state has ever seen. Strong woman! Hell yeah! I won! I'm the strong woman! Look at it! It's a I'm the best! I'm the strongest! Well, well, well. It's another day and another controversy happening somewhere in the world that just brings us down as a species. We just can't seem to go on even a few days without something scandalous happening and just blowing up everywhere, Where, whether it's online or in the real world. It just doesn't seem to be possible for us to just be peaceful and normal for at least a week. This new controversy is rather big and I'm sure that most of you, if not all of you, have already seen it. And I'm of course talking about the Olympics. No, not the Last Supper and all of that sewage that has been spilled across all the internet regarding those performers. I personally don't care about about that is just idiotic and stupid in my opinion. No, I'm talking about a boxing match in the female boxing league that occurred a few days ago that sparked a very very large online debate and I want to start this topic with a video made by Asmongold who has a really really good in my opinion take on the matter. So let's just see what he has to say. South Park's becoming a reality, what's this? Oh yeah, and South Park is also The Simpsons, apparently. <laughs> yeah. This is crazy. I mean, it is. to be fair, this is crazy. It is. Now, I hate to tell you guys this, but I actually looked into the situation, and it is unfortunately not as simple as a man joined the Olympics to beat yep. up women. There are a number of reports saying the same thing. So, the woman comes from the country Algeria, and it is illegal to be trans in Algeria. IBA president... So when when the reports initially came, everyone, including me, jumped and was saying, why is this allowed? Why is the transgender male or female is allowed to compete in the Women's Olympics? So they have XY chromosome. They do look like a male, if we're being honest. And this seemed to be the circulating news in the beginning. However, later, numerous reports started coming that the boxer is actually female. They were born in Algeria, who is very much against LGBT and the, the trans communities. So things got a little bit weird, and he explains it in just a bit. And Umar Krimlov said DMA tests proved they had XY chromosomes. Yeah. The officials announced the boxers had failed medical eligibility tests and stripped them of the medals. Yeah, so Khalif, Imar Khalif, who is the main subject of our video today, who uh, defeated the Italian boxer, who was victorious in the match before, actually was tested by the International Boxing Association and failed those tests because it was found that she apparently has XY chromosomes, which are male characteristics and that's why she failed the test the titles were stripped from her and they and she wasn't allowed and i'm using the the term she because it would appear that it is actually it is actually true in this case and there actually is a genetic dysfunction whatever you want to call it right the yeah. question is should somebody who has these levels of testosterone or potentially xy chromosomes like if somebody is born with like a certain genetic variance that makes them more closer to the other gender do they still compete with their gender there are a lot of other people that have abnormalities right so like you have michael phelps he had marafan syndrome which made his limbs longer made it better for him to swim and you look at thor right you know thor the mountain <laughs> not thor pirate software yeah andre the giant the spectrum in which people can exist in is massive so like at what point do you draw the line of like when a genetic defect becomes an advantage versus whenever it's a it's an unfair cheat so this yeah so he's quite correct it is a genetic anomaly and it is something that is not something normal for your body and does change your body in a significant way however in the examples that he provided those defects were actually enhancing and were helpful for the betterment so basically there were something like enhancement 
different mutations of the body, the long limbs in Michael Phelps, Thor, Thor the Mountain and Andre the Gen, they were they're huge people, like absolutely huge bone mass, and that's what made them strong and absolutely elevated above the rest in terms of strength and uh, absolute mass and presence, which might be viewed as something as a naturally occurring enhancement uh like someone taking steroids but they're n natural because it makes them stronger and better at what they're trying to do as a sport which is exactly the case here and i'll get to all the examples and all the information about the boxer in a minute this is my opinion right i think it's a bad idea to have trans women compete against biological women in sports i see true. this and i say wow this seems really unfair right absolutely like, you know, true has like a different completely different bone structure uh their skeleton's different uh they have different testosterone levels like exactly musculature as somebody who is in favor of that or not in favor of that i guess in this case i don't think that a person like this should compete i don't think so why are men and women separated in a division it's because men are stronger and faster than women they're they're literally built differently so if a person yes. is built and they have the genetic makeup of a man then for the intent of a competition that is physical they would be a man effectively right what is it more important to do is it more important to preserve the best interests of everybody else inside of the tournament or is it more important that one individual person has a chance to compete? Well, I exactly. Think logically, it would make sense that the most important thing would be to do what's best for the most people, which would be not allow the people. needs of the many. Exactly. He makes excellent points in this video. He's asking all the right questions. Which is more important to allow one person who, even though in a most basic biological sense and who was initially born a woman and was having female characteristics, female body parts, if you like. However, it was later discovered that they have this anomaly and having XY chromosome to, to, to be able to compete, or is it better to uphold some form of biological standards right down to the chromosome level? And I want to present you with uh, this post by Kani at Kani Rossi. So she was, she's one of the first people that I saw who went and wrote that she was born a female. And that's true. It is true that she was born a female, apparently. I don't find it now, however, it, there was a mention of a specific syndrome, the Swire syndrome, which I want to show you here. I looked into this and the Swire syndrome does make the body produce XY chromosomes, which usually leads the, to the results in the development of male organs. However, in the Swire syndrome case, it does not. It, de it develops female organs. They don't go to puberty unless they have hormones replacement therapy they also can become pregnant naturally but can conceive through egg donations these are the physical stuff of it what and the symptoms of Suarez syndromes are of the Suarez syndrome are quite interesting underdeveloped breasts lack of menstrual periods taller than peer and hair doesn't grow in pubic or axillary areas so taller than peers is something that i want to point out because when you see that boxer it's she is much much taller and does have a lot of male characteristics i'm not being sexist here it's just when you look at her you don't believe she's a woman i didn't believe and i want to show you this simple google search this is a result that i searched for increased testosterone effects because it was mentioned that the boxer has much much higher testosterone levels than normal women and what does that do exactly it leads to increased muscle mass because testosterone affects muscle mass directly it also increased increases the density and the strength of the bones now there are a lot of negative effects of course but these are more catered to the male side of things however it is quite the interesting case to look at because we have the facts on one hand yes we can accept that it is a woman biologically born a woman with initial female characteristics since birth that is true however it is also true that she has xy chromosomes which does lead to testosterone increased levels in a very large amount which does make her more masculine than not just the average woman but than a lot of other women it also leads to increased aggression deeper voice as per the characteristics mentioned in the google search and you we should really ask ourselves just like Hansman Gold said what is the more important 
thing to do. Do we just cater to this one case that it is a biological woman? True, it's not a transgender woman. And a lot of people jump the gun by saying just because she has XY chromosomes. I did because for me, biology teaches us that XX and XY are male and female, which this is what we know. We are not privy to all the different anomalies that might exist in the human body. And this is not just common knowledge that pops up every day in your feed. So we might have been wrong about that, which I personally would like to see proof of this medical condition. If, just so we we can put all of this to rest, rest and all the speculations down to rest, because information is what will bring us to the end of it. It's also very important to notice that the International Boxing Association has disqualified them after making genetic tests because of the increased levels of testosterone and the XY chromosomes present. So what is the most important thing? Do we just pit them together because of the of, of the same biological sex or do we have some more security measures in place because all in all you can view things on both ends yes there are technically two women on the ring however one of the women has such high testosterone levels that it would seem like she was on steroids just the steroids that are produced by her body so you have a naturally jacked up woman and another woman who has trained all her life for that and i seen some tweets that Imani Khalif uh, was uh, defeated by other women in the past okay well in in a certain level of development in your martial arts career, boxing career, sports career, even if you are physically superior to someone, the lack of skill might also contribute. And if she was less skillful, she might have lost. Or it could have been that the other woman was better than this Italian boxer. Who knows? The point remains, this is a very, very muddy situation. It is a muddy situation. It has sparked a lot of hate and controversy towards the Olympics. And this comes after just a few days after the initial ceremony, which just blew the internet with its outrageous performance that a lot of people just band together and were so angry and so offended that it almost seemed, seemed like the roles were reversed. However, I think personally that this initial ceremony had just that intention of doing something so outrageous that it will get people to be angry and angrily watch it just because it's so outrageous and they want to watch to see it, what other hateful things happen in their mind. I personally think that this whole manner is a case that needs to be studied and needs to be reviewed accordingly by a lot of authority figures and a lot of experts. Because if you think about it, a male with a very low testosterone level can also go into the ring and fight someone with a normal testosterone level for a, a man. Would that be unfair? Or if a man who has a m much lower testosterone level could fight on equal par with some woman who has a normal testosterone level. So these cases are very, very muddy and it's very, very complicated to actually put one thing above the other if you think about it logically. I know that a lot of people are emotional over this. I was emotional too and I'm happy that I didn't post an initial video just after it happened because the new information just does put things in a, a lot of perspective. Don't get me wrong. In my opinion, my own personal opinion, I don't think that this fight should have happened. And I don't think these women should be allowed to fight other women because no matter that you're a biological woman, in this case, your testosterone level and your XY chromosome bring you closer to the male biological sex without being male. You're basically 60, 60 or 70% over to the male side. You just don't have the schlong, if that's a way to put it. And in my opinion, there should be either a new category of people for, for people or these things should be reviewed accordingly. And the thing that drove me to this conclusion is that, especially for Swire syndrome, one of the things that it was written in the article is that hormone therapy exists in order to bring the testosterone levels to a normal levels for a woman. But that wasn't done at all. And I believe that it, this was intentional because 
you have a biological woman and her trainer might have been, okay, so we're gonna use that in our advantage. Just like Aslan Gold says with Michael Phelps, you have anomalies that can be used as an advantage if there is happen to be good anomalies. And this should be reviewed in a very detailed manner, because as it sits, it is an unfair advantage for these boxers and i'll keep an eye to see what this other boxer i forgot their name does in the ring and if it's the same or if they suffer from the same or similar disease or they're just transgender as initially reported and if it's the latter there's gonna be a whole new wave of anger sweeping across the internet and we'll be back with another controversy video so anyways that's all i have for today tell me what you think about this messy situation do you agree that these fighters should be allowed to compete without any problems or do you think they should be disqualified from the Olympics and from further women's sports? Post in the comments down below, click the like and subscribe button if you enjoy my content and follow me on my socials and my Patreon where I gather donations for helping homeless animals and animal shelters locally and internationally. Thank you, see you next time and stay fresh. Cheers.